everyone, Eric here, and today I want to show you some shortcuts that you can use to save time and improve your activities in Seesaw. Who doesn't like shortcuts? Well, uh, what I have here is I have a an activity that I've opened, and I'm going to call this one, how about short vowel sort? Oh, it looks like I've done that one before. All right. And the first kind of shortcut I want to talk about is a Seesaw shortcut for icons. Now students love to see icons of tools in the directions. We know for young students uh, who struggle with reading that when you have uh, really word heavy instructions that can be tough for them and icons can help with that. But even for older students uh, and students who are more proficient reading, seeing some of those icons helps anchor the directions for them so they can really see the tools you want them to use. So let me bring up this list, and I got this right from uh, Seesaw's website, uh, and I will put a link right to it in the uh, description below. Now these shortcuts, when you put these into your instructions for students, it will automatically put an icon in for you. So let's say for this short vowel sort, I want my students to use the move tool. That's this one right here. So I'm going to say use the colon move tool. And then what do I want them to do for after that? Well, they're going to move these words around and they're going to sort them. And then after that, I want the kids to circle the vowel using, or how about highlighter? Ooh, that's perfect. All right, so I'll say sort the words. Now, your, your directions would be way better than this, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, and then use the, and then highlighter, I think, was just colon highlighter, wasn't it? It sure was. Use the highlighter to show the vowel. And then finally, why don't we say, then use the microphone to record the words. All right, so what these look like when I save this activity, look at that, it puts these cool little icons right in there for students. So even if they don't read the directions, which we know that students are not always the best at reading directions, it, they can see those anchors there. They know the tools they're going to need to use, and it gives them a good idea of how you want them to do this work. All right, so those are Seesaw shortcuts, and I absolutely love those. Here is the next shortcut I'm going to show you, and it has to do with the adding multimedia instructions or examples. So I'm going to do a shortcut by going right down to the template. Now, some teachers don't know this, but if you add things in the template, it will automatically copy them up here to the example or instructions. So let's say I want to skip this part and I go right to here. And let's say I am going to, for this word sort, put my instructions and I'm going to put my word sort all in the same slide. All right, so check out how I do this. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put, how about short A and then we'll do a short E as well. Okay. Now, did you just notice how, in order to make those two text boxes, I had to go over and click T again and again, right? Well, guess what? You don't have to do that. I'm going to show you a short, another shortcut. All right, check this out. Let's say I start to make my words. So let's start with cat, right? Now, a lot of times I'll resize these. I might also go in and change the style. So they're reversed, makes it easier for students to kind of, they look like a, a button that they can move around now, right? Now the problem is if I wanted to recreate this, when I click on the T, it will copy some of the things I did, right? So it, it uh, saved the style, but look, it made it bigger again, uh, where I'd have to shrink it again and all that. So here's the trick. So while this is highlighted, I hit Control C and then Control V. Okay, and you can see it made a copy of that. This is true on a Mac, you would hit Command C and Command V. And the nice thing about this is now I can just go right in here and I can just go ahead and update these quickly. All right, so I just keep hitting Command V or Control V and now I can quickly make all of these words. A lot of times teachers like to use counters too. So like if you wanted kids to move counters around and you want like a pile of counters, I love doing this. So let's say I wanted my kids to count, um, if I had these stars and I was saying count the stars to count to 10. Well, it would take a while 
to resize, go back, add another one, but check this out. If I just click on it and hit Command C or Control C, depending on what kind of device you're using, and then Control V, I can just keep on hitting Control V and I can make a pile of these all right there quickly. So now my students that have this big pile, they can continuously just grab one off the pile, right? How nice is that? Also, if I wanted to, you know, duplicate certain things from this for another page, I could do that same trick where I, I select something and then I do that control C and control V and it will move it from one slide to another, okay? So using those keyboard shortcuts, that is such a nice way to save some time when you are making a template for students. Now you remember I told you that I skipped over the directions, right? And I went right to the template. Let me show you why I do that. I'm going to go right up here to these three little dots in multi-page and hit duplicate page. So now I have two exact copies of this, um, this template, okay? On the first part, this is going to be the teacher directions. So what I do so my students know this is the teacher direction is I make it a special color, orange, which is my favorite color, and they know that. Then I'm also going to add a bitmoji to this too. So they know this is me teaching, okay? So a great uh, trick if you use bitmojis, put in the word pose, and it will show just pictures of you without all of the words around, okay? So let's find one. Aha, here's a good one. Oh, you know what? Here's another shortcut for you. If you're in Chrome and you hit Save Image, then it'll pop up down here, and you can just actually drag it right from there and drop it right into Seesaw. How easy is that? So now they know this is the teacher page, okay? And then this is the student page. So this is the one that they are actually going to make changes to. All right, as long as you use a consistent color scheme, your kids will get this. Now, I am going to record the directions right here on this first one, and I don't have to make the template again because it's already there. It's important, though, to duplicate this before you record. All right, here I go. I'm going to record my directions for them. Hi, boys and girls. Mr. Robinson here. So today we're going to sort some short A and short E words. So what I want you to do is say the word cat and then move it over and sort them. After you're done sorting them, you're going to use the highlighter, and you're going to highlight the vowel. Now you can highlight it. Oops, I made a mistake there. That's not the highlighter. You're going to use the highlighter. There it is. And you're going to highlight the vowel. And then finally, you're going to tap on the microphone and read me your words. Okay, so you are going to go, when you're done watching this video, you're going to go down to the second page. You'll see it right over here. Click on page two, and I want you to do this sort and follow those directions. Okay, so now I recorded this for them. They can listen to this and go on to page two and show me, okay? By the way, if you don't have the paid version of Seesaw, you can actually take those directions and you can minimize them, and you could like put the directions over on this side, and then over on this side could be where students sort it, okay? So you can do this even if you don't have the paid version of Seesaw. Now look at what this looks like when I save this activity. Do you notice that, well, let me save it here so you can see the whole thing. Look what it did. It took my directions from that first page, and it just made a carbon copy of them right here in the part where the directions are. So when my students go to do this work, they have it right there. They can still click the directions like they're used to, but I didn't have to take these directions and recreate them for the template, which is a great shortcut. So let's assign this, and then let's see what it looks like for students. Okay, so here we are in the activities. My students can still go up here and click and listen to the directions that they want, or they can click Add Response. And don't worry, these are all fake students. There we go. Now they can listen to my directions. Hi, boys and girls. Mr. Robinson here. Okay, and they can watch as I move things around and highlight, right? And then when they're done, they go right on to page two, and now they can do it themselves. All right. So keep in mind, we had some great shortcuts there for you. We had the shortcuts, the seesaw shortcuts, right? These ones right here for your directions. Another shortcut we talked about was when you're creating either pictures or maybe you are creating labels in Seesaw, Control-C 
and Control V or Command C and Command V are a great way to copy and paste things to speed that process up. And then finally, you don't have to do a separate direction and a separate template. Skip right over that directions and go right on down to the template and create it all right in there. <laughs>